Hello my lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. I also appreciate you for being part of this channel. Thank you so much. Uh, we are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, okay? If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. My God will always bless you for your support. So allegedly, we are hearing that uh, Oni of Ife was shocked as Reverend Esther Ajayi told him what he needs to know about when Naomi and the returning back to the palace. Recall that some time ago, about some months ago, when Oni was uh, unable to convince Queen Naomi to return back to the palace, he ran to uh, Esther Ajayi, knowing fully well that uh, uh, Queen Naomi respects Esther a lot. Not just uh, Queen Naomi, even Oni of Ife uh, holds Esther at high esteem. And they said when she went, when he went to her for her for her to intervene on the situation, they said Esther was able to talk Queen Naomi into agreeing to return back to the palace. And they were making preparations on how Queen Naomi will return back to the palace until Oni of Ife went ahead and married the seventh wife, which blew everything out of proportion. So it was at this point that Queen Naomi had decided and made up her mind that she is not returning back to the palace. Oni of Ife had done a lot to convince her after that, yet all was abort as in proofs abortive, you know. So, but this time around, uh, we heard that allegedly that Oni of Ife have gone back to Esther Ajayi once again because uh, he knew what Esther can do when it comes to convincing Queen Naomi. But it was quite unfortunate to him that Esther was able to tell him all that he needs to know. According to what we are hearing, they said Esther told him that uh, this problem did not start today. Queen Naomi did not just wake up one morning and leave your palace. That before now, uh, she, there have been issues like this. And after a lot of people talked to her, she returned back to you. And she was enduring everything, hoping that you are going to change. According to uh, Reverend Esther, they said that all these women that are causing problems between Oni of Ife and, uh, Doc and Queen Naomi, that why they were still concubines to Oni of Ife, Queen Naomi we are, uh, was tolerating them, that she was of a very big help to Oni of Ife, why in that palace? Why she was trying to control or how to, uh, to stop Oni of Ife from mesmerizing with all these women. Oni was busy doing his own thing. Even to the point that he got uh, to the uh, point of marrying them as Queen Naomi school wives. Although from the beginning of the whole thing, they said Oni of Ife promised Queen Naomi that uh, there won't be anything like polygamy in their marriage. Hmm. But that's not what we are talking about now. The thing is that they said Esther Ajayi told Oni of Ife that uh, when Naomi have given you her conditions, she have stated it clearly even before her what you must do if you really want her to return back to the palace. Then, why are you not doing all of that or any of that? You just uh, ignore what she said and yet you are running health task uh, contacting people to talk to her on your behalf uh, let me tell you according to what she said they said she told only of Ife that those people that you think are helping you they are mocking you that you are unable to control your family as a king you are expected to have a very good and well managed home so that the people that you are managing will be in good condition. So the best thing you can do to yourself and to your throne 
is to go home. Be, put your home in order. Make peace in the palace. Put it in order so that it will be very conducive for Tade Nikawo to return back there when it is time for him to return back. As for uh, Queen Naomi, she is an adult and she has a say in this and her decisions must be obeyed. You should respect his de her decision, sorry. And she's old enough to know what she wants. If she says that she don't want to return back to that palace, you don't have any right to force her. And trying to force her will bring a bad name to your throne and to you as a human. So they said uh, 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 Reverend Esther Ajayi was able to talk to her, talk to him, advise him the best way is a mother can advise a son. But it is now left for him to take decisions or to heed to Ajayi's advice. Because from what I am seeing or from what we are hearing, all that matters to him is how to bring Quenomi back to that palace. But go and do the things that Quenomi said that once you do them, that she is going to return, you will not do it. It's not as if it's not, it's not in your power to do. You can still do them. But yet, you don't want to do it. And you, you want her to return back to your palace. You cannot eat your cake and have it. They said, when Naomi have made up her mind, that unless he abide by her own conditions and terms, that that is the only thing that will bring her back to the palace. And they said this Reverend Ajayi have uh, uh, told him to go and make peace with himself. That he should stop dwelling on the past. That when Naomi was uh, a good woman to you while she was there. She was so helpful. But now that she has said that she is done and she is tired of uh, being uh, enduring all that is coming from you. You should respect that because she have her own say. It's not as if she's a slave in your hand or in your palace. She have the right to uh, choose the paths she wants for herself. So go home, make peace with yourself and put your palace in order. So that when Queen uh, Tade Nikawa is ready to return, he will return, but not now. So guys, that's what uh, she told him allegedly okay and if you uh, look into it you will see that what she's saying is the right thing to me is the right thing i don't know about uh, you that is listening so please whatever you think about it share with us on the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay and share share it my god will bless you for sharing see you guys soon bye for now love you guys